Hi guys, welcome back to another FSD video. Today we are gonna be testing a few more things. I am still on version 12.3.6 with the latest software though. I'm still waiting for the 12.4 stack. The update has not been pushed uh, into my car yet, but uh, we will be testing a few more things. I'm gonna choose a different kind of route today. So I'm gonna start with this interstate uh, road or highway and we're gonna drive here a little bit see how uh you know fsd is gonna read the signs read the stoplights read um you know some of these things that come along the way and how it's gonna make the calls so it's a beautiful sunny day out here and my fsd settings if i just open up real quick if i did some changes so from my autopilot like i'm on a certain setting again so I changed to average but I'm back onto assertive setting and my automatic speed offset setting is on as you can see and for my pedal I'm on the plaid again so this is the most aggressive FSD settings that you can have so we'll see what happens uh, today so far so good only had one nag so I have to just touch the yoke. So we have a good like seven mile distance to travel. And the road looks pretty empty today for a Sunday. Usually there is a lot of traffic here, even on Sundays, but pretty, pretty uh, empty today. By the way, I did post uh, my six month review of Model S Plaid. If you are not al already subscribed to my channel, uh, please consider subscribing. I post regular videos uh, around Tesla and other stuff as well. So do check some of the content out as well. And keep your feedback coming guys it really helps me to grow this channel and like you know make better videos too we are almost at uh, 3,000 subscribers 2955 I think it's the exact number as I'm recording this video so please keep those subscription coming in and let's cross that 3,000 mark really appreciate all the kind words feedback you have provided so far on these videos especially the FST videos I've started making these six months back and based on your feedback i was able to test a lot of new things and learn a new things on the learn a few new things along the way as well which i did not previously know about fsd feet, turn left onto Crescent Road. okay so our left turn is approaching perfect so there are only two lanes from which you can make a left so it is trying to stay in the right lane to make a left which is fine now turn left onto Crescent Road. But our red light is still red. I mean, I our turn light is still red. So perfect. FSD has stopped here, and we'll see if it follows all these lines on the road to stay on the far right side, since we are making the far. Uh, for a turn from the far right as well. View for you guys as well. Pretty much at my eye level or a little bit above my eye level. Uh, so look at this turn was made perfectly fine. We are still in the far right lane, but now it should come on and in this one lane because it's becoming one lane which it did perfect and this guy behind me i don't know why he's trying to tailgate but uh um, what it is keep an eye on these people as well car in front of us as well by the way guys as i mentioned in my previous videos and all of my fsd videos as well to pay attention to the road when you're using the fsd the service works perfectly fine I would say 90, 97, 98% of the time it works without a problem but uh, you should be ready to take over 
at any point so always pay attention when you're driving and if you think you are running into a tricky situation just take control right away speed limit here is 45 we are going at 44 it's maintaining the distance from the car in the front as well and that the automatic speed offset is also determining what is the best speed to go in uh, this case as well so that's what uh, this feature is about so if you want to you know select the manual speed you can do that but only on the highways it will let you select the speed but when you have it on auto if you even try to scroll it's nothing is going to happen But if you turn it off, you can actually then play around with these settings as well. It's always a good idea to test the FST on, you know, local roads where a lot of stop signs, you know, stop lights and stuff of that nature is. So you can get a better idea. And it, 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 it it's, I, I can tell you like, you know, it, it started working uh, pretty much like a uh, human driver uh, ever since they switched to the 12 stack version 11 had a lot of glitches and stuff but on 12 as you can see it's working pretty much great and it's not driving like as if I am driving myself so we picked up from the light as it turned green it's very soft and subtle kind of movement not like jerky or like uh, even the stops when it's trying to stop at a stop sign or moving from a stop sign they did improve a few things it's not taking forever on the stop signs in the latest version of 12.3.6 though so I would want to see the 12.4 I know some people already got it but it's not like uh, pushed out to everybody yet and I also noticed that ever since I purchased uh, the FSD uh, I mean I was only on the subscription package for I think one month or so but ever since I bought it I'm not getting the updates regularly so I don't know if that's just my my thing or maybe the people who have subscription uh, they are preferred over the customers who have paid in full so something to think about again uh, if you guys have that information or some experience with that I would want to know please let me know in the comment section down below because I definitely see or notice that the upgrades or like the software updates have slowed down ever since I actually purchased a full FSD but it may just be my my thing right so that's why I want to hear from you guys so let me know in the comment section down below love to hear your feedback on this but overall like you know FSD works great and I'm using it on my daily drives as well if you have been following this channel like you, you kind of noticed like and okay let me just take over because there was like a kind of a thing on the road that could have damaged the tire like this like this thing too like I think to a metal plate with some uh, bolts on it so I don't want to go over it FSD does not recognize these things still so if you have uh, a pothole or anything like that FSD would not recognize that so now we are changing the lane we are coming to the right lane because we have to make a right from up top from there went through a water puddle as well so another thing uh, it's not gonna go around the water puddles too it's just gonna go over them so that's the only thing I am still a little bit concerned about when we talk about FSD that you know there's no pothole detection and you know it would go over potholes and water puddles and stuff uh, although like in, in this case you just notice it changed the lanes without any problem Maybe it's like learning patterns as well. Like I try to 
you know drive on similar road sometimes but i don't see that improvement too i would assume like you know you if this is like on neural network at some point it's going to start looking at like the patterns for uh, like patterns from the driver and how are they avoiding like the potholes or like certain situations and it's going to start making those calls but i know it's like very tricky um, it's like minute level kind of details and you know every situation is going to be different potholes can be you know patched up and uh if if it starts like looking at that back driver's pattern then try to correct that like a pothole might not be there and it still try to overcorrect it like you know it can cause a problem too so you know that's something which you know is my biggest biggest like complaint about FST so far everything else work great and like it works better uh than a lot of drivers on the road but like if it's uh got to keep on hitting the potholes you know, at, at some point people are going to stop using it because tires are not cheap especially on the 21 inch wheels now turn left onto state highway 70 Okay, so we are approaching another left turn onto a state highway. So far, the drive have been good, as you've noticed. Nothing major except for some of the areas where I have to take over for the pothole. are like the thing on the road which i know the fsd is not gonna pick up okay our turn light turn green so moving forward moving forward moving forward and now we are making a left turn perfect perfect Wow, look at this it's switching the lanes perfect so some people mentioned that like you know if there's a lot of sun glare and stuff sometimes fsd gets confused i haven't seen that at all so far the cameras are pretty good on the newer versions of teslas so mine is like the late 2023 i picked up my car in november december time frame last year it is with the hardware core Okay, so perfect. There is like some construction zone coming up. Let's see if you're gonna notice anything different. Up ahead, like you can see that. Okay, the car is making lane changes and then basically came back into the mid center lane again. Okay, so it didn't go all the way. It didn't commit to the change. Okay, perfect. I was just trying to take over because that person was in the wrong lane, and sometimes these guys swerve right, so right into you. So I was paying attention in case they did something stupid like that. <laughs> If you pay attention while you're driving, right, which you always should, by the way, anyways. you will love the fsd it's going to it's going to work really really good for you and you're not going to have any warnings or any complaints and suspensions but not i just 
said it. <laughs> and I got like the first kind of warning. I'm paying attention though. In 1,000 feet, then right. Okay, so it's going to be very interesting to see how this turn is going to be made. This is all, all of this road is under construction and we have to make a right. So I'm just keeping my hand close just in case. Okay, but yeah. Okay, FSD took care of everything on its own. We didn't have to intervene at all. Perfect. In 500 feet, turn right onto King's Highway. We have another right turn coming up. Now turn right onto King's Highway. This is also an interesting uh, kind of intersection. The traffic is coming from here. We have a red stoplight here, but technically you can move a little bit forward which fsd always tries to do tries to do and it's doing so right now as well okay there's no traffic coming and i think we can okay let's stop because the cars were coming from the left side okay perfect okay this will be interesting too because we have to go somewhere here and I don't know how can this make a U-turn. Very interesting. So let's see what happens. In 500 feet, make a U-turn at West Miami Avenue to stay on Kings Highway. Okay, I'm just gonna let FSD decide. Let's see. Not doing anything. I'm letting the car make the call. Okay. So it now went into a turn at West Miami Avenue. This parking lot. Okay. In 500 feet. So you have to go right around the highway. Duncan. Then your destination will be on the right. So let's see. Very interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> Okay, so it came from the back way, it's fine. I'm gonna take over from here. Since we are just going to Dave's Hot Chicken right here. Okay guys, so let me know what do you guys think in the feedback section down below. I think FSD has come to a point where it's very, very safe to use it on regular basis, on daily basis. I use it all the time and uh, you know, it's only getting improved with every single update. Still waiting for the 12.4.1 uh, or like 2, whatever that update is going to be. When it's going to come, I'm going to be making more videos about that too. So stay tuned and um, we'll definitely connect again. Check some other content out on my channel. As I mentioned, I just posted my 6 month review of Model S Plaid. And I am going to see you in future videos for... Uh, now stay safe and goodbye.